Good day, children. It's me again, Madame Jo, and your Muppet to teacher. Are you now ready to learn? Yes, you're ready. But before we start our lesson, let's have first a recap about the lesson that we had discussed last meeting. So, ano yung lesson natin last meeting? Very good. So, last meeting we discussed about the different or the five sense organs and how to take care of it. Okay, very good. So, what are what is our five sense organ? We have the mouth, mouth, the nose, the where's the, the ears, the eyes, and the skin. So those are the five sense or depths and also we also discussed the bee on how to take care of them paano ba natin pangangalagaan sila okay so naunawaan na po ba kung paano si paano alagaan yung five sense organs natin very good so yung lesson natin noon at yung last magi lesson natin today have something in common so, they have something in common. Okay, so are you now ready to know what is our lesson for today? Very good. So, let's start. Our lesson for today is all about the development of self-management skills. No kayong mga dapat natin gawin? para sa ating sarili, lalo na sa five sense organs natin. Pero, bago natin yon, bago natin i-discuss yung five sense organs natin, um, may papakita mo na si Madam na video para sa ating five sense organ. <laughs>
Very good! So, yung video na yan ay tungkol sa ating five sense organ. Opo? Sa ating five sense organ. At kung saan sila, kung para saan sila ginagamit. Opo? Okay, very good. So, our lesson for today is about the development of self-management skills. So, what are the objectives of our lesson today? So, our objective in this lesson, you are expected to, number one, display self-management skills in caring for the sense organ. So, yun po yung objective natin sa lesson na to. So, kailangan ma-develop natin yung self-management skills natin kung paano tayo, kung paano natin i-take care or pangalagaan yung mga sense organs natin. Let's proceed now to our first activity. So, for our first activity, you will write A on the line if the, if the practice is an acceptable self-management skills. Opo. And write letter U if it is unacceptable. Okay? Letter A if acceptable yung mga ginagawang self-management skills. And, letter U if it is unacceptable. Opo? Very good. So, what is self-management skills? Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng self-management skills? Self-management skills is your abilities to take care of yourself and your body. So, yung self-management skills, ito yung kakayahan mo na pangalagaan yung sarili mo at yung katawan mo. So, yan ang self-management skills. This important because you need a healthy body to live comfortably. Starting healthy habits early in life is vital. If you love yourself, you should always improve your management skills in taking care of your body and yourself. So, kailangan mo ng self-management -manage skills kasi kung mahal mo yung sarili mo, kailangan pangalagaan mo rin yung um, sense organs mo at yung body mo. Kasi isa yan sa pinaka-importante para sa ating mga tao. At yung maging healthy yung body natin at yung um, sarili natin. So, start um, having a healthy habits as early as now. So, ano kaya mga dapat natin gawin para mapangalagaan natin yung five sense organs natin. So, let's start sa eyes. Saan nga ginagamit yung eyes? Sige nga, saan ginagamit yung eyes? Very good. So, ginagamit natin yung eyes para makakita tayo. Eyes is for seeing. Eyes is for seeing. Again, eyes is for seeing. Okay. Ginagamit natin yung eyes para makakita tayo. So, eyes our windows to the soul. Okay? Sa eyes natin makikita yung yung mga na, totoong nararamdaman ng mga tao. Kaya, eto, totoong feelings. Kaya, sinabi, kaya pinaguraan yung eyes na windows of the soul. Eyes is the windows to the soul. If you lose your sight, then life will be hard. Kapag nawala yung um, paningin natin, magiging mahirap na. O, try nyo pumikit at gumawa ng mga, at gu, gawin yung mga ginagawa nyo dati. Di ba mahirap? Mahirap na wala tayong makita. Kaya, pangalagaan ng mabuti ang mata. Opa? This is the reason why you must take care of your eyes. Ano, ano kaya yung mga 
proper ways to take care of your eyes. Number one, read in a well-lighted room o magbasa sa lugar na maliwanag. O sapat yung liwanag, huwag magbabasa dun sa lugar na madidilim kasi masisira ang mata mo, lalabo ang mata mo. Okay, number two, sit in a comfortable distance from the television or the computer. So, huwag uupo ng napaka lapit sa screen ng monitor ng computer mo at television kasi maaaring masira yung mata mo. Dapat in a proper distance. Okay? Ma tama yung layo ng mata mo sa monitor. Katulad ng ginawa ni Madam. Katulad ng ginawa ko. Yan. And number three, rest your eyes. Pagpahingahin rin yung eyes. Lalo na kapag naglalaro kayo ng mga gadgets ninyo at nanonood kayo ng TV, ng mga videos sa YouTube, pagkatapos nun, ipahinga muna ninyo yung eyes ninyo. Kasi, na, kasi napapagod rin yung eyes. Kaya, ipagpahinga po yung eyes. And number four, avoid looking at the sun directly. So, Wag na wag po itong gagawin. So, wag titingin ng direkta sa sun. Kasi maaari itong masira, maaaring masira yung mata mo. Pwede kang tumingin gamit yung, ay, gamit ang sunglasses. Okay? Gumamit ka ng sunglasses kapag uh, titingin ka sa sky. But, not directly at the sun. Okay, and number five, avoid rub being your eyes. So, wag irarab yung eyes, lalo na kapag madumi yung kamay ninyo. Kapag um, nalagyan ng dirt or ng alikabok yung mata, kumuha ng basin. Lagyan nyo ng water at ilublog yung mukha. Magblink kayo ng ilang beses doon sa um, water para matanggal yung alikabok. So, yun ang isa sa proper way para matanggal yung alikabok sa mata. Opa. And also, um, eat nutritious food. Ano ba yung mga, alalo na yung mga pagkain na rich in vitamin A. Ano yung mga pagkain na rich in vitamin A? Katulad ng carrots. Okay, kumain kayo ng carrots ha. Yung carrots, hindi lang yun para sa mga rabbit. Para rin yun sa ating mata. Kaya, kumain na kayo ng carrots para para sa in, para luminaw ang iyong mata lalo na ang kalabasa so eat nutritious food sunod naman ears yung tenga natin yung tenga ears para saan nga yung ears very good para saan nga ulit correct Ears is for hearing. Again, ulitin natin. Ears is for hearing. Para saan nga yung ears? Hearing. Very good. So, ilan yung ears natin? Meron tayong dalawang ears. Meron tayong dalawang tenga. Sa dalawa. Yung ears natin dito. Oh. Dalawa. Dalawa ang ears natin. The ears are important not only for hearing but also for the sense of balance and stability. So, hindi lang para sa pandinig yung ears natin. But, ears is also important para mayroon tayong sense of balance and stability. Para hindi tayo matutumba. So, yun, isa rin yun sa importance ng ears. So, paano nga ba natin ma- papangalagaan yung ears natin. Number one, avoid loud noises. So, huwag daw tayong uh, masyadong makinig sa mga napakalakas na mga sounds. So, kailangan tama lang yung, um, yung sounds na papakinggan natin, lalo na sa music kapag gumagamit tayo ng earphones. So, tama lang na mute. Tama lang na volume ng music. Number two, 
use hearing protection. So, gagamit tayo ng hearing protections para maiwasan natin yung pagka wala ng paninig. Para ma hindi masira yung ears natin. Number three, avoid sticking sharp objects inside the ears. So, ito, wag na wag maglalagay o magpapasok ng mga matatalim na bagay sa loob ng tenga kasi may mga ma baka masugatin yung sa loob ng tenga mo at maaaring hindi ka na makarinig. Opo, kaya wag maglalagay ng mga matatalim at matutulis na bagay sa loob ng tenga mo. Opo? Very good. And number four, clean your ears regularly. O, kailangan daw linisan yung ears natin na regularly. So, ano ba yung ginagamit para panlinis sa ears natin? Ano nga? Very good. Ito ay cotton buds. So, gumagamit tayo ng cotton buds para linisan ng ating ears. Okay? Linilinis natin ng ating ears. So, yung paglilinis ng ating ears, dahan-dahan lang. Opo? Very good. Okay. So, wag. So, yun po yung mga dapat natin gawin para mapangalagaan natin yung ating ears. Apo? Very good. So, let's proceed now to our nose. Okay? An sa para saan nga yung nose? Para saan? Very good. Para saan nga yung nose? Nice. Nose is for smelling. Again. Nose is for smelling. Nose is for smelling. Very good. So, the nose is not only for smelling, but it is also for protection from injury such as spoiled food, harmful chemicals, and poison. So, hindi lang para sa smell, smelling yung uh, purpose ng nose natin. Protection rin natin sila mula sa, mga, sa injury, mula sa spoil, sa spoiled foods o sirang pagkain at sa mga harmful chemicals and poison. So, ginagamit natin yung nose natin para malaman kung yung pagkain ba ay sira na o hindi pa. At ginagamit rin natin yung nose natin para malaman kung yung mga kung yung mga nandun ba na mga substances sa loob ng bahay ninyo ay mga harmful chemicals at poison na maaaring um, makasama sa iyo. So, yun po ang mga yun ang mga gamit sa nose natin. So, paano nga ba natin it um, pangalagaan ang nose natin? Number one, always use soft and clean tissue. Okay? Kapag maglilinis tayo ng nose, gamit tayo ng soft and clean tissue. Huwag yung hands ha. Wag yung finger natin ang ipapasok dito. Wag po yun. Gagamit tayo ng soft and clean tissue kung gusto natin malinisan yung loob ng nose natin. And number two, do not, do not put small objects inside your nose. Okay? Ito yung wag na wag gagawin ng mga batang tulad nyo. Lalo na yung mga maliliit pa. Wag na wag naglalagay ng mga maliliit na mga objects like beads, yung mga bato, lalo na yung mga pieces ng mga plastic, plus, yung mga plastic, tapos yung mga plastic wrap, yung mga junk foods. Huwag pong ilalagay dito sa loob ng nose. Huwag po. Kasi maaaring hindi kayo makahinga. At babaho po yan kapag hindi yan natang Apo, huwag po yung gagawin. Apo mga bata? Very good. And for number three, do not poke your nose with pointed objects. O, o katulad nun sa ears, wag na wag tutusukin ng 
o huwag magtutok o magtutusok ng mga pointed object mga mga matutulis na bagay sa nose mo matutusok yan so huwag pong gagawin and for number 4 cover your nose cover your nose with clean handkerchief Opo? kapag babahin ka kailangan um, i-cover mo yung nose mo ng malinis na handkerchief or kung dadaan ka sa mga maalikabok na place um, i-cover mo ng malinis na handkerchief open nyo ang nose mo Opo? very good so dito naman tayo sa, sa mouth saan nga ginagamit ang mouth? very good ulitin nga saan nga ginagamit ang mouth? Nice one. Ito yung mouth. Mouth is for eating. Again, mouth is for eating. Okay, very good. Saan nga ginagamit yung mouth? Sa eating. And also, ginagamit rin natin yung mouth natin for speaking. So, ginagamit natin yung mouth natin for speaking and eating. Apo? And it also affects the appearance because it is important when you smile. So, sa bawat tao, ito ang pinaka-importante yung mouth natin. Isa sa pinaka-importante kasi nakaka-apekto ito sa appearance ng isang tao. Kasi yung mouth, dito tayo nag-smile. Patingin nga ng mga smile. Very good. So, yan ang mouth. Apo, ito yung mouth. Apo? Okay. So, paano nga ba natin pangalagaan yung mouth? Pa paano kaya? Number one, do regular oral care. So, bumisita palagi sa um, dentista. Lalo na yung teeth natin kasi nasa loob ng mouth. Yung teeth natin and always brush your teeth kasi nasa loob yan ng mouth. Apa? Number two, avoid eating too much sweets o wag masyadong kumain ng maraming chocolates, candies, and yung mga matatangis kasi maaari yung makasira ng ngipin. O, gusto nyo ba wala na kayong ngipin? O, kaya wag na wag kakain ng masyadong maraming sweets. Apa? Very good. So, pwede naman kumain, konti lang. And after that, mag-toothbrush na po kayo ng teeth. And also, for number three, have dental check-up. So, magkaroon kayo ng dental check-up, magpa, magpatingin sa dentista, opo, para ma-check yung mga ngipin ninyo kung may sirap o wala. Opo? Very good. So, dito naman tayo. Sa skin natin. Skin. Ito yung skin natin. Skin. So, dito tayo sa last sense organ ng body natin, which is the skin. So, the skin is the largest organ of the body. So, ito yung pinakamalaki na, na organ sa body natin. Ano nga yung pinakamalaking organ sa body natin? Very good. Ito ang skin. It serves as first protection from germs and helps control body temperature. So, ito yung unang promo, promo protecta sa atin mula sa mga germs. And also, nire-regulate niya yung body temperature natin na hindi ma masyadong malamig, hindi rin masyadong mainit. Katamtaman lang. And the skin is what the other people see first on you. So, it is important to take care of it. So, ang skin ang isa sa, pinaka, ang isa sa nakikita ng mga tao sa iyo. Kaya kailangan pangalagaan natin ang ating skin. Saan nga ulit ginagamit ang skin? Very good. Okay, paano nga ba natin pangangalagaan ang ating skin? Number one, take a bath or shower often. So, palaging maligo. Maligo tayo araw-araw para mabango at mapangalagaan natin ng maayos ang ating skin.
skin. Okay? Number two, apply sunblock lotion. So, kapag lalabas kayo ng bahay at para hindi para maprotektahan yung skin natin against ultraviolet rays, kailangan natin ng sunblock lotion. So, i-apply mo lang yan sa skin mo para hindi ma para maprotektahan sa ultraviolet rays galing sa sun. Opa. And number three, exercise. So, kailangan natin ng exercise. And Number four, sleep early. Oh, lahat ng body organs natin, kailangan rin na matulog tayo ng maaga. So, we need to sleep early. Lalo na kayo mga bata, kailangan nyo ng sapat na tulog para lumaki kayo at magkaroon kayo ng magandang skin. And lastly, number five. Okay, ano kaya ang gagaw... Number five, ano kaya yung mga... Uh, kakainin natin para gumanda yung skin natin. Very good! Kakain tayo ng mga fresh na fruits. So, you should eat fresh fruits. Apo? Para gumanda yung skin natin and also, yung mga body organs natin. Okay? Eat nutritious food. Apo? Very good. So, yun ang mga proper ways to take care of our sense organs. So, don't forget, excellent self-management skills help you to improve yourself and keeps you healthy. So, yung diniscuss natin kanina ay mga self-management skills na ma makakatulong sa inyo na ma-improve yung sarili nyo at ma-maintain yung pagiging healthy ninyo. Apo? Very good. So, para mas maunawaan pa ninyo, ang ating lesson, may ipapakita ko sa inyo video. Handa na ba? Okay. Hi there, kids. I'm Dr. Chester. And I'm here to show you the helpful habits on how you take care of your sense organs. Will you tell me again the ways on how you take care of your eyes? Good job! Here's another one. I want you to watch closely. The music is 
will use it to clean my ears. <laughs> You're telling me that I'm the one harming my ears. But in fact, you're the one harming it. You use a clean cloth in cleaning your ears. Ooh, just like this. This one? Yes, of course. And Thank you. you can also use a clean cotton bud. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. You may continue now. But lower it down, okay? Yes. You might not want to destroy your eardrums. Yes, Paul. Hey, again. What did you just watch? You're right! Can you tell me again the ways on how you take care of your ears? Good job! And now, let's watch another video. Uh. Ah! Who are you? Do you have golds? Yes, I have, and I'm continuously. It's me. Ah! Let me get that. Use this instead. Thank you. Don't blow your nose too hard. It may harm your nose and your ears. Really? Yes. Okay. Take your med. That's right. I'm back. Did you learn something? Good. Can you tell me the ways on how you take care of your nose? You're right! And let's watch again another video! Enjoy! As a doctor, it's important for me to have a healthy skin and to be a role model to everyone. And here's my morning routine. So, nagustuhan nyo ba yung video? Very good. So, yung video, tungkol yun sa kung paano natin pangalagaan yung five sense organs natin. Apa? Naunawaan na po ba yung lesson natin today? Very good. So, let's proceed now to our second activity. So, for letter A, you will reflect on your self-management skills. Read each, read each practice and rate yourself based on the guide. And you will write your rating inside the box. So, here's the rating. Four, if you practice this every day, seven days a week. Three, if you practice this four to six days in a week. Two, if you practice this two to three days in a week. And one, if you practice this once a week or not at all. So, yun po ang mga ilalagay na numbers sa bawat box. Okay po ba? Very good. For letter B, based on your score and I accomplish A, 
What do you realize about your self-management practices? What will you do now? So you will write your re realization and what you will do in your notebook or separate paper. Apa? And for letter C, choose five self-management practices that you do less often than the others and explain why you want to improve these skills. So, pipili kayo ng five self-management practices that you do less often than the others and explain why. Apo? Nonawaan po ba? Very good. And for our last activity, you will write A on the line if the practice is an acceptable self-management skill and write letter U if it is an acceptable management skill. Opo, ang ilalagay lang ay A kapag acceptable self-management skill and letter U kapag unacceptable. Opo, very good. So that is our lesson for today and don't forget the five sense organ of our body and how to take care of it. So mas okay na habang bata pa kayo, pinapractice nyo na kung paano pangalagaan ang inyong katawan, lalong lalo na ang inyong five sense organs. Opo? So see you next, see you next meeting. I hope you learn. Bye-bye and thank you.